Mark Beavers, is it true you've got a magic hat? I'm not sure about that, but it's uh, it's a nice song to hear from the fans. Um, you know, when they sing it, obviously, it gives me a lift. And, you know, when they're singing on a whole, it gives the whole team a lift. So, uh, they were fantastic again today. And, you know, they for me, they sucked the ball into back, into the back of the net and it happened again today. Six goals for you now for the season. You must uh, fancy yourself as top goal scorer. I fancy myself to catch Weeks first. He's, he's, he's got seven, so I'm one off him. So, um, you know, I, I think me and Weeks and, you know, whoever's in the box, because, uh, you know, Phil's putting some great balls in there, as is Andy Taylor as well. Um, so we all fancy our chances once we're in the box. Um, so, you know, we're, we're all really confident. Um, so long may that continue. We've not spoken to you since this change of formation. How are you finding the three at the back? Yeah, well, obviously it's worked. I mean, the <coughs> the the running form shows that um, you know the lads are comfortable playing it. The you know me, Weeks, and Dawes, whoever or whoever comes in, are comfortable playing that formation. So um, you know, I think it gives you different outs. Um, you know, you've got wing backs that can get up the pitch as well, and you know, still still solid as a back three back there um, with three big centre halves as well. So. So far it's worked and uh, again, long may it continue. Five wins in a row down that must feel amazing. It is, yeah. Um, I don't think anyone saw that coming, but you know, we know we knew we were capable of doing it because you know we've got a good squad, we've got some good characters there. Um, so, you know, there's seven games left now, so um, you know, if we put the a similar kind of shift into every game that's uh, coming from now to the end of the season, then hopefully we'll be in that top two. Feels like forever since we've been at Macron Stadium, but back home next weekend against Chesterfield. Yeah, it's nice to be back home, yeah. Um, hopefully we can treat the home fans to a win. Um, we got a win against Northampton at home. It was scrappy, it was a tough game. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully, we, you know, I'll take any win, to be honest. If it's scrappy or, or, or pretty, I don't mind. Um, so hopefully we can get another win and make it six out of six at the Macron next week. Yeah, there's some real team spirit in this squad. You see everyone go over to the fans at the end there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I mean, again, I'll say it again. The fans were fantastic. Um, you know, they they deserved uh, the performance today for travelling in such numbers, um, and the, and the, I think the lads and you know the staff all appreciated their support towards the end, so they deserved it. Not just a goal for you as well. The clean sheet, you must be over the moon with that as well. Yeah, there's been a few games where we've conceded one, and it hurts to be honest as a defender. And you know, Ben or Chump, whoever's in goal, it'll hurt them um, even if we win the game. Uh, so it's nice to get a back to back to um, clean sheet wears. You mentioned both the goalkeepers there, both play today, that must be uh, very pleasing for you that you've got a safe keeper behind you no matter who comes on. Yeah, both good keepers, um, whoever's come in, I mean Chomp started the season and did really well, unfortunate to get his injury against uh, Peterborough, but Ben's coming in, has been fantastic, um, so we are lucky in a way to have two really good keepers. Thank you. Cool, thank you.